Madam President, the odds were heavily stacked against it, but we had a peaceful transition of power. It happened, we should welcome it, and we should congratulate Mr. Ivanishvili and his government on assuming office. His commitment to an early visit to Brussels and his appointment of Alex Petriashvili as European Affairs Minister suggests we can be confident in the government's European intentions. And we must look forward to progress towards an association agreement, a free trade agreement and visa-free travel and towards new efforts in the Geneva international discussions. But let us not underestimate or forget how bad things had become. The reports of the international election observers about harassment and intimidation during the campaign, the regular reports from Amnesty International about the situation in Georgia, and those horrific prison torture videos that came out. Only time will tell whether Mr. Saakashvili's acceptance of defeat was a virtuous bow to democratic values or a tactical retreat under international pressure, as Tedo Yaparazzi has suggested. The Foreign Affairs Council stressed the importance of an effective political opposition and a vibrant civil society and of supporting capacity building. I think they might start by deploring the tone and the language of the speech by the Member of Parliament, Georgi Gab Gabashvili, in the debate yesterday. 